Hey everyone, Danny here over at Into Fly Fishing, and today we are taking a look at the Reddington Wrangler Trout XL Fly Fishing Combo. Now this is the nine foot six weight option of this outfit, and Reddington did send us this rod to review, but we are still going to be honest about our thoughts about it. And if it is something you would like to purchase, the link is in the description below. And we're excited to dive into this, so stay tuned and enjoy. <laughs> So first thing we're going to chat about is the action on this rod. Now this model is a medium fast action and I spent a good amount of time casting this in a local park as well as out on the water and I would say it definitely lives up to that height. It's a nice sensitive feel but it still has a little bit of that power that you would want in a 9 foot 6 weight model. So the medium fast action is smooth sensitive but still has a good amount of power in those situations where you need it. So next up is the rod length and weight. So as mentioned earlier this is the 9 foot 6 weight model and it does also come with a 6 weight crosswater reel which we'll get into here in a bit and this weighs right around 4 ounces so it's a bit heavier but not too heavy that it's going to exhaust you as you're fishing for a day on the water. It, it really does feel solid for that, that six weight model that you would need, that you would want, especially if you're targeting just bigger trout. And this is what that rod is meant to do. So it's a really comfortable weight. The length is perfect for streamers, dries, nymphs, big water, small water, and the weight is there in case you do happen to, to tie into something a little bit bigger. So next let's talk build materials as well as quality. So this rod is made with a performance graphite material. So it's, it's built to last, it's light, it's, it's smooth, it feels great. The cork is a half wells grip. You get the, a nice quality cork. Again, it doesn't feel too hot, doesn't give you blisters as you're fishing throughout the day. The reel seat is anodized, so it's ready for all different types of water. There are steel guides that are actually a bit sm smaller than, than some of the other guides that you're going to find on other fly fishing rods. Smaller in the sense that they're thin, so that means less resistance on your line as you are casting it. And that is a noticeable feature. In terms of the reel, you are getting a nice composite reel that has a carbon fiber drag system that is easily adjustable with this knob on the side of the rod and it locks in really nicely to the reel seat here I feel like I, I like how this one locks in a little bit better than the Reddington original kit that we have reviewed it, it's snug it doesn't move you can definitely wrench on it in case you do need to the handle on the reel does have rubber coating on it so your fingers aren't going to slip off and it actually does come spooled for you so it has 100 yards of backing some Rio weight forward six weight floating line as well as a tapered leader from Rio so you are all set up ready to go when you receive this rod it comes with this quality carrying case plenty of padding for your reel handle at the top for you to, to carry and it's it's subtle but nice the dark reddington letters the the wrangler trout xl and then the logo here i think it looks great and the the quality is is there reddington's a reputable company and they they stand behind this product and i think everything about this rod is quality there is no anticipation of it falling apart by any means and i again i think it's it's built to last and, and Reddington stands behind this. So let's talk casting ability. So being that it is the, the 9 foot 6 weight model, yes it has a medium fast action. I, w I was really excited to cast this. Usually these weights and builds of rods are usually really smooth. They might not be as powerful or punchy as that, that fast action, but usually they shoot line well. And that was definitely the case with this, this the Trout XL model of this rod. I, I spent a good amount of time just airing it out as best as I could 
and I was able to get casts over 50, 60 feet pretty easily. Now, I didn't have to do a whole ton of false casting. The smooth and, and thinner guides shot out the, the, the line well. The real line that they have attached feels great. And I think at anywhere from zero to 60 feet, this rod is going to cast very well. Beyond that, you're gonna stretch its limits. The, the tip might get a little bit shaky. You might find that you lose that momentum because it just doesn't have that stiffness that a fast action rod does. But any sort of longer cast or shorter cast inside 60 feet, you'll find that the rod is both accurate and it's just fun to cast. I, I really had to enjoy just airing it out, seeing what I could get out of it. And it was up for the challenge. So the blank recovery rate, again, medium fast action, so it's not gonna snap back into place like a fast action rod would, but I think it balanced it out itself out well. When I needed it to really bounce back, if I was trying to get a lot out of it, it would, but when I needed some of that sensitivity, if I was really trying to finesse my way around, it, it balanced it out well. Even in the, the windy days that I was fishing it, and uh, more stronger currents, 700 to 1000 CFS. And when I needed that faster recovery rate to get my fly to where I needed it to, it was up for the challenge. I'm more of a fast action rod fan, so I know I'm a bit skeptical when I use a medium or moderate fast action, but I, I think Reddington has a nice balance here of when it needs to be punchy, it can be, but it still has that consistent, just smooth recovery rate. Now line control. So this rod is built to throw bigger dries, bigger streamers, and it's up for that challenge, but that also means our casts can get a little unruly, depending on how often you throw those bigger flies. So you need that line control to be able to make big mends and faster current, to be able to make some of those more sensitive ones if you're fishing just gin clear water with a big dry and light tippet. You want that, that dry to be the center of attention. And I think that this rod actually controlled the line really well. Again, I was fishing faster moving water, so I needed to be able to make big men, small men's, and everything in between. And, and the, the Wrangler Trout XL outfit responded well when I needed to make a big mend. It, it kept up with me, but it was still smooth. And I think that's the word I'm gonna come back to with this rod is just smoothness. Nothing felt too choppy, nothing felt uncoordinated it, it just felt like it was all built to mesh well together and i really did appreciate that so the in terms of line control windy days non-windy days fast water slow water it it performed quite well so target fish species reddington advertises this as the trout xl meaning it's built to throw bigger flies at trout i absolutely agree with that and I think it could also go after smaller bass catfish smaller carp obviously all the pan fish you would want and beyond that into the bigger bass to the pike to steelhead to salmon I wouldn't test that being that it is a, a medium fast six weight they do make models seven eight nine weight models that I would target those fish for but almost all types of trout Panfish and the smaller carp, catfish, and bass definitely would work well for it. So target water. A lot of these rods we've reviewed, I've encouraged people to stay away from the bigger water. I don't know if any of the rods we've tested are really ready for something like the Yellowstone or, or bigger lakes, things along those lines. But I think the Trout XL could do it. You can make longer casts, you can have better control, you have some of the power that's able to throw those bigger flies and fight bigger fish. So I would say it's ready for the big rivers. It's great on medium sized rivers, good on small waters. And it really is a versatile rod that I believe in. Some of these other ones I'm not so sure. I, I believe this rod can handle all types of water. I think there are better options for smaller streams and small, skinny finesse fishing, but it'll definitely do the job being that it is a medium fast. It's, it's versatile. It can do what it, it needs to do.
So Reddington offers anglers a one-year warranty on this setup, and if there is any manufacturer error, uh, you have find a hairline crack, you are just making routine casts and something snaps. Any manufacturing error, they're going to cover up to one year, but any abuse, things along those lines, slam it in a car door, drop it on a rock, whatever, however you do manage to maybe break something, they will not cover that. So next let's talk price. So the Reddington Original outfit we reviewed that came with the Reddington Original rod, same crosswater reel, was $200. That was the 9 foot 5 weight. Now this is the 9 foot 6 weight Trout XL Wrangler model and this will cost you $250. Again, you get the reel, you get the backing, you get the fly line, you get the leader get the rod you get the case so I would say that's a good deal I wouldn't say you're getting ripped off by any means I would say there are some other Reddington models that are more affordable that the rods are definitely just as capable as this one but I think that what makes it really worth it is this reel the crosswater reel is nice it's up for a lot of challenges and you know you're getting a, a good setup when you purchase a Reddington rod. That's just the reality of it. So if you are interested in a quality setup that's built for a bit bigger water, this one's already balanced and set up for you. So I think that $250 is worth the money. Now who is this rod for? This is also one of the rods that I think is built to work for beginners and, and intermediate and even advanced anglers. It's not just for a beginner looking to fish a little bit bigger water. It, it can function well for anglers of all skill levels and I, I appreciate that. I think that's why the price tag is a little bit higher on this. But if you are a beginner and you are going after bigger trout and bigger water, great, perfect option. If you're an advanced angler looking for a backup setup, that you can take into the back country, that you can just keep in the truck if you just in case of a rainy day or you bring someone else along, that then it's gonna work well. Or if you're just someone looking for a new setup and you fly fish for years, I think you'll be happy with it. It's versatile. It can cover a lot of different water types of fish, and I, I think it's really a, a jack of all trades rod. So overall thoughts. I really liked this rod. I enjoyed fishing it. I would say I liked it more than the Reddington Original that we reviewed. I think it's a little bit beefier, a little bit higher quality, and anglers of all levels would enjoy using this. It's just a good time to throw. It's got all the features you would need, and it has the backbone, it has the finesse ability. And for 250 bucks, I think you're getting a good deal on this. And if you would like to purchase this, remember the link is in the description below. And make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more fly fishing reviews coming your way. And we really appreciate you watching.